Hey everyone, it's Megan from Ad Zombies, and we have gotten one question over and over recently, and we're going to talk about that today. So the question we've gotten a lot, and since we started, is can you write an ad for my product or service? And we've always said, of course, as long as you can advertise it on Facebook, we can write it for you. The difference we've had lately in the questions is we're getting more and more people asking, can you write for something that's in a restricted category in Facebook or a special category? Or I've been having problems getting my ad approved even though I'm not in a special category. Can you help me with that? So today we're gonna to talk about what we know about Facebook special categories, what we've observed, and what you should do if you're in or adjacent to a special category. You've had challenges with that part of the vertical. So um, what we're gonna do today is we're just gonna start in with what we know. Again, like I said, we're gonna come back to what we've observed and then we're gonna go from there into what you should do. So let's go ahead and get started. What we know is what Facebook tells us. They are the judge, jury, and executioner when it comes to what gets approved, what gets denied, what happens to ad accounts, and they are also the newspaper publisher. So in a democracy, this wouldn't go over very well, but Facebook is not a democracy. It's a platform. You choose to participate in it. And those are just the rules. That's the way it is. So if you're advertising on Facebook, no matter what your product or service is, you should get to know their advertising policies. It's so important to be aware of what they require from you as an advertiser and what they're doing to protect their customer experience. So all you have to do is go to facebook.com slash policies.ads. Everything that we know is on that page. We know what you know, that's it. It's a little bit vague in a lot of ways. They don't tell you what words will trigger uh, a rejection. They don't tell you any of that. What you see is what you get. And I know it's frustrating. It feels like you should just bang your head against the desk and kind of cry to the heavens for help. But it's really just the way it is. We know what you know. So if any guru there is telling you, you can't use this word, it will get your account banned. They don't know that. That's based on their feelings or their observations but you can't know. We know what's on that page. That's what Facebook tells everyone. That's all you get. So that's the bad news. <laughs> the good news is that we have made some observations that are helpful. And one of them is actually from the TOS itself. And that is the landing page problem. So a lot of people are following the terms of service for ad policy. They are doing good creative, good copy, but their landing pages aren't compliant with terms of service. And Facebook tells you really early on in their policy, exactly this. And you can see it on the screen. I'll let it take over full screen so you can read this. During the ad review process, they'll check your ad's images, text, targeting, and positioning. So in addition to the content on your ad's landing page, that's the key right there. So if you have a landing page that's not compliant with their terms of service, if it has, uh, if it's missing a privacy policy, if it has spammy pop-ups that Facebook doesn't like, if you're using prohibited content that wouldn't fly in an ad on your landing page, that's gonna get an account um, or an ad rejected. So that's a really important place to look. So that's what we know. Uh, what we've observed, and this has happened a lot recently, is that many ads, product services, ad accounts are marked as guilty by association. So we'll use one very specific example. We had recently, a customer who is running ads for a marketing product, but this marketing product was specifically designed for mortgage brokers. The marketing product has nothing to do with um, loans, with real estate, with anything that is in a restricted category on Facebook, and yet their ads kept getting rejected, rejected, rejected. And here's what we believe to be true. When you're marketing a product that is related to a special category, a lot of times what's gonna happen is you're gonna use words that are related, that the AI knows is related to a restricted category. So it's gonna assume you're trying to write around the rules for that category. And that's why we believe that account kept having problems getting ad copy um, approved. And so the key there is to use that special categories button. So here's what we recommend. If you are using um, Facebook to advertise a product or service that is related to a special category at all, first of all, don't try to work around it. Don't go black hat. Don't try to play sketchy games and like beat the algorithm. Um, around 2010, um, this was a huge thing in Google. Companies were spending so much time, effort, and money trying to game search results and trying to just bump up a spot or two or make it to page one. And they were link farming and paying for links and doing all sorts of 
what's called black hat SEO. And very quickly, Google didn't just catch up, they penalized them big time. So all that effort wasn't just for nothing, it actually negatively impacted their businesses. So Facebook's the same way, their algorithm's smarter than you, they're gonna catch up, they have a big team protecting the experience that they want to create. Don't try to work around them, don't try to trick them, you'll get burned every time. When in doubt, if you have an ad, a product or a service that's related to a special category, push the button in Ads Manager that says special category. It's not gonna get you in more trouble. If anything, it's gonna help you. And what that does is it says to Facebook, hey, I know that this ad is related to something that you watch really closely. So I'm gonna follow the rules. I'm gonna follow your terms of service. And um, you can look at my ads, please look at them. Please know that I'm on the up and up. And if they reject them, you can still appeal and have a human review them. Really the key here is that you're complying with the spirit of their advertising policies. Think about what Facebook wants to deliver to a user. So if you're scrolling through Facebook, the experience you want to have is seeing content that's relevant to you, that makes you feel good, that you enjoy coming back to the app over and over. There's a reason Facebook doesn't let you run ads that say, hey, you sitting in that seat looking at that phone, are you fat and sad about it? Do you want a miracle product that won't actually do anything? Look at these before and afters that are totally unrealistic and unrepresentative of the majority of results. They don't want that experience for their users, right? They don't want someone who's in debt to get a predatory loan because they saw out on Facebook. So the spirit of terms of service is all about giving a good user experience to the people who are scrolling through their feed and just looking to kind of spend some time uh, getting cheered up. Uh, right now, a lot of us are seeing political ads that are kind of taking us down. But what Facebook wants from you as an advertiser is content that is relevant, that is helpful. So if you comply with the spirit of terms of service, you should be fine. Finally, go ahead and try new things. Don't be afraid of ad rejections. We've talked to a lot of people who are afraid that a single ad rejection is gonna tank their ad account and get them banned. That's not the case. The reason you get banned, there are two reasons. One is because you're actually behaving badly. And the other is because there was an accident with the algorithm. Behaving badly is predatory targeting, getting negative feedback on your ads, over and over breaking the rules and breaking terms of service. If you do the best ads you can, if they're in compliance, if you're providing a good user experience through your ads and you still get banned, it's likely an algorithm error. And that happened to us last year. It was so frustrating, um, but we got our ad, back up, our ad account back up and online. Uh, we had to work with Facebook to do it. It all was resolved eventually. We stressed ourselves out over it. Um, but it turned out it was just an error. So keep in mind that these things happen. Facebook is a big company. They break fast and they they <laughs> break fast. They move fast and they break shit. Like that is a, that's a thing they say in the office, right? So there are times where they make an update and it messes with people. Um, so don't always take it super personally. Work with your ad account rep if you have one. Try to get them in chat. And if you're having those problems, definitely use the channels available to work with Facebook. Um, long story short, you can advertise in special categories or around special categories. Use the button, be super aware of your terms of service, and then just follow the spirit of terms of service. Uh, we hope that's helpful. I hope you've had a great day. And uh, please let us know in the comments if you have questions we didn't answer here. We'd be happy to help you with those.